Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java programming tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you how to use combo box in Java using Swing API. Let's move ahead to NetBeans IDE and see how this concept works. Friends, in order to demonstrate working of J combo box, let's create a Java class. In Swing Tutorials Java project, let's create a Java main class. Provide a name to it as Combo Box Demo. Keep it in a package as com. Hubberspot. Swing. Combo Box. Click Finish. It creates a class by name, combo box demo, having a main method. In order to create a combo box list, let's create an array of string. This array of string will hold names of programming languages. Let's assign few programming languages names to it, such as Java, C, C. -sharp, Python and Ruby. These names will be displayed as drop down list in combo box. Using JText field class, let's create a text field that will display heading for this demo. In the constructor of JText field, we pass string that will be text for it. Let's provide text field value as Top programming languages. Moving ahead. Let's create yet another JText field variable by name, selected language field. Let's provide this JText field with a width of 15 columns. This text field will display selected value of programming language that user will select. We will see it later. Let's create a J combo box that will demonstrate actual working of combo box. Provide this variable name as box of languages as it will hold names of languages that we created above as an string array. in order to display all above swing components on a frame. Let's make combo box demo extends JFrame. This class will now be our actual JFrame, holding these swing components. In the constructor of combo box demo, let's code few things. First we will loop over string array and add each programming language to combo box. Using for loop, iterate over each element of languages array. J combo box has add item method. This method will add items to combo box. Here, we will add all the names of programming languages to combo box. We will make heading text field as non editable by setting set editable as false. In this demo, when user select any of the programming language from drop down list, there must be an action triggered. For that, we will add an action listener to combo box. Here, New action listener will be like an anonymous inner class with no name. This class has action performed method. This method gets executed whenever user select any programming language from the combo box list. It takes in an action event object, which has information related to action happened on user interface. In this demo, when user selects any programming language from combo box, the programming language name should be displayed on 
selected language text field. The text will be displayed using set text method. We display text as you selected and name of programming language user selected. In order to get name of selected combo box language, we need combo box object. Event object has method by name, get source. It returns an object on which action has been performed. In our case, object is J combo box. We will type cast object back to J combo box. After getting back object of J combo box, we will call its get selected item method. This method will return value of selected item. In order to display all above components in a frame, one after other, we will set layout to flow layout. Finally, using add method we will add all above swing components to our frame. Thus, when this constructor will be called, it will create a J-frame with all above components displayed on it. Let's move ahead to main method and code how our frame will be called and displayed. We will create an instance of J-frame by name, frame. Which would equals new combo box demo. This line will execute constructor of our combo box demo class. It will initialize our demo frame and assign it to frame variable. Set title of JFrame window as Combo box demo. We set default close operation of JFrame window as Exit on close. It makes JFrame window exit when we close the window. Using set size method, we will set width and height of our JFrame window. Here, we set width as 300 and height as 200 pixels. Finally, in order to make this frame visible to us, we call set visible method and pass value as true. This method actually makes frame visible to us. Let's run this Java class. You can see it displays a JFrame window. With size as 300 by 200 pixels. It has a title as Combo Box Demo. It also has a non-editable text field with a value as Top Programming Languages. It has an empty text field. Here, it also has a combo box, which displays names of programming language, as a drop-down list. Let's select any language and see what happens. As soon as, we select a language from drop-down list as, C++. Empty text field displays it. As soon as, user selects any language, Action listener listens to it and calls action performed method. Based on our coding in that method, it displays particular language details. Now if we select Java, it displays, you selected Java. Thus, we created a simple swing application, which demonstrated working of J combo box. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to use combo box in Java, using Swing API concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.